This video is sponsored by Wondershare Photo Top Hire. This software includes three programs in one. It's similar to Photoshop, but offers some unique built-in features. The three programs are Photo Editor, Photo Cutter, and Photo Eraser. With Photo Editor, you have the ability to enhance your photos with over 200 effects to add. There's also color correction, photo frames, and one I personally like is Light Leak. It makes a huge difference to the image, and you get full control over the strength of the effect. Photo Cutter very simply removes or replaces background. You simply draw lines around what you want to keep or draw around what you want to remove. And it's that simple. With Photo Eraser, you can easily remove unwanted objects, watermarks or date stamps from your image. You also get the ability to easily clone items within the image. And a great thing about this, you can restore old photos by removing scratches and damaged marks. Now this program is not free, but compared to Photoshop, it's very cheap. There is a seven day trial available, or you can purchase a one year license, which is only $59.99, which includes 30 day money back guarantee. There'll be a link in the description to this software where you can find more information and where you can purchase or download the trial. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create an ink drop transition in Premiere Pro. Now, I did show this in Vegas Pro just last week, so if you want to check out that tutorial, a link to it will be in the description. So here we are in Premiere Pro, and as you can see at the moment, I just have this clip and this clip side by side on the same video track. Now, what we're also going to be doing is duplicating these videos. So I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and drag this video up and continue hold Alt on my keyboard and drag this clip up as well. So then we have two videos the exact same on different video tracks. Now on video track one we're going to leave it as it is, on video track two we're going to hide them so what we're going to do is press this I. Now you won't see a difference but they are hidden. The next thing you're going to be doing is dragging and dropping the ink. Now the ink will be a download link in the description so I'm going to drag and drop this and this is going to be on video track three. Notice this does not fit so the first thing we're going to do is right click and then select a set to frame size. Now, once again, you can notice it's still not fitting. So this is where we'll need to customize the scale. So make sure you select the ink, come up to effect controls where it says scale. We simply need to enlarge this so it fills up the entire screen. So just left click and drag it out. And then I'm also going to change positioning so it comes a bit more to the left. So for that, we're going to be adjusting the number on the left again, just left click and drag. It's that simple and that's how I'm going to leave it for now and this will change later on in the video. So at the moment what I'll do is play this through and as you can see this is what it does and it's pretty slow but what we're going to be doing is now heading over to the effects. So we're going to select effects from here we're going to come over to video effects and from here we're going to look for keying and then you want to add on track matte key. Now you want to add this onto the video clips on video track one. So there's this one and there's also the one next to it right here. So we're going to select the first clip. We're going to make sure we are in the effect controls. Now where it says track matte key, this is where we're going to change a few settings. So where it says matte, we're going to select uh, this button here. And then you want to select the video track that the ink is on. Now the video is on or the ink is on video three. So we can select that and that part is now complete for us. Then the next thing we're going to be changing is the composite using. So from matte alpha, this is going to change to matte luma. Notice the video has gone black. That's okay. We're then going to head over to the next video on video track one and where it says matte. Once again, we're going to choose video three and where it says compositing mode, we're going to change this to matte luma. Now I'll play this through from the beginning and this is currently what we have created. So as you can see, the ink open up the scene like this. So that looks pretty nice. And of course, depending on the length of your video, that is going to be too long. So you can see this is five seconds and this is still going on into the next scene. So this is where we're going to create the transition. So what I'm going to do is select my ink clip. I'm going to right click, select speed duration, and I'm simply going to speed this up. So Remember the clip is five seconds for me. So I'm going to go to about 180 speed as you can see that brings it to five seconds So I'm going to drag this to the left. So it is just Two two and a half seconds. I'm going to select. Okay That's now changed 
Now notice, as soon as the ink goes off screen, everything goes black. Now this is the reason why we have video track two. So also with this ink, we're gonna make it go off screen. So as you can see, this is how it currently looks. And some of you may like this effect. And if that is the case, you can completely skip what I'm just about to show you. But if you want to do something else, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Then what I'm going to do is select this and we're gonna bring up the scale. So we need it to go off screen. So I'm gonna bring up the scale and I'm also then going to position it. Now the scale you don't want too large simply because then um, it will go out of screen quick. So mainly you want it a bit with the scale and a bit with the position. So you can see there's just a bit left and there we go. So now if I play it through, this is what we have. Once again, it's gone black and this is where video track two comes into play. What we need to do is unhide the track. And before we do that, you can see we can no longer see that ink effect. What we need to do is press C on our keyboard, split it right here, press V on our keyboard, and this part underneath the ink, we're gonna delete. Now, you'll see, that's what we get. And then we need to uh, duplicate this ink here. So I'm gonna hold Alt and drag this across. This time, I'm gonna right click it, select speed duration, and we're gonna select reverse speed. I'm gonna select a okay. And what this is now going to do, if I play it through, notice it hasn't come on screen. So the reason for that is because video track two is still there. So now this little section here, we want to keep video track two. So we're gonna press C on our keyboard, we're going to slice here, and everything on the right, we're gonna delete. So now this is what we've done, just playing it through, you can see the blackness starts to come back in at the side, but we need to speed it up this time. So we're going to right click, come to speed duration, and I'm going to make this a lot faster. So just here, select OK, and now playing it through, you can see it makes the screen go black, and then it brings us to the next clip. So this is where we repeat what we've just done. So for this, we can just left click, highlight them over, hold Alt, and drag them across like this. That simple. Now, what we need to do once again is delete the video track two. So we're only going to keep the footage here and then we're going to delete the parts where it's not going to be showing. So this is now what it will look like. It's going to hide away and then this comes back in and it's going to hide away again like that. So that's how you can create the ink transition or ink effect in Premiere Pro. It's really simple. Um, it might take a bit time at first, but once you get around it, you can see it's super quick and it is super easy to create. But that is it for this tutorial. Hopefully it has been useful for you. The ink drop I used will be linked in the description and I'll be back for another video soon.